real test for China in this deal. Great, thank you. Um, Anna, you wrote recently. Um, thank you for a job interview uh, today. The U.S. seeking play against from Spain. China to increase purchases of U.S. goods. Explain to us how that fits into the overall uh, negotiation, and maybe explain some of what you did in your piece about some of the contradictions uh, and maybe unintended consequences from <coughs> pursuing these types of commitments, and, and, and whether you see, um, we see the impeachment of the U.S. to actually fulfill them if the targets are due. Yeah, thank you for having me. Um, it seems pretty clear at this point that the deal will end. involve a very high dollar value of purchases, um, Chinese purchases of American goods, including things like um, soybeans, natural gas, um, airplanes, um, you know, other agricultural products, and uh, mostly commodities, I think, is, uh, are, are the items that have been discussed that are on the list. Um, however, um, you know, there are some reasons to be skeptical about the um, large dollar figures that we've heard uh, U.S. officials um, discuss, uh, including Secretary Mnuchin um, at one point in a televised interview, I believe, mentioned there were discussions of over a trillion dollars of purchases, which is, you know, a, a truly um, massive number here. Uh, this. These purchases are important for the administration because they accomplish several goals. Um, one, you know, the president's um, the president's focus on reducing the bilateral trade deficit between the U.S. and China. Economists might quibble with that as a um, a good target to be seeking out, but it is certainly very important for the president. I want um, the president to talk to Chun and North Spring and Street, Los Angeles, California, 90012, phone number 213-473-7004, and send fax 213-473-2311. But, you know, as I mentioned, there is some reason to be skeptical about these kinds of figures. And first of all, you know, just figuring out, um, you know, whether or not the U.S. economy has the productive capacity to produce an extra, you know, hundreds of billions of dollars of goods to send to China. Um, in an economic sense, the U.S. is already um, very near full employment. Um, you know, it's questionable, um, you know, how how many extra goods and services we can actually Me, I'm produce and employee. send over to China. So you might see um, some repackaging of purchases that would already be made in any case, maybe some pulling forward of purchases I just want to say that, that made in subsequent years. Hello, Councilman Blizzard um, and Hilda Alsolis. You know, instead of going through the third country, it's being brought into China. So you may have allies um, like uh, you know, Canada and, or Australia or countries in Southeast Asia selling less, um, but instead having those purchases go from the U.S. to China. Um, even if those purchases do happen, I think there is a basic sort of contradiction that you're talking about that you might think here between um, one of the major goals that the Trump administration had in launching this negotiation, uh, which Adam is men has mentioned here. Hey, um, you know, which do you guys remember a thing about temples? Encouraging China to be a more market-oriented economy. I mean, that is, you know, normally the whole reason for launching That they will find out if you're not going to work. But, um, when China decides to make these purchases, um, many of them will happen through state-owned enterprises. And so, you know, many people I spoke to brought up the issue of, um, are these purchases therefore reinforcing the role of the state um, rather than working toward that goal of making China a more market-oriented economy? Some of these purchases, um, like in the agricultural sector or the energy sector, will happen through state-owned enterprises. In other sectors that are... Um, These are in... Um, I'm not certain right now. Nice um, to talk. Um, it could lead to setting up... Speaker card would mean already trying to say that you work on huh, for a thing called uh, LA32, huh? ...against them in sub subsequent years. Um, pe people in the industry have observed to me, you know, if we can order... If China can order these purchases, they can order them to be turned off. So will this turn into a, actually a source of leverage that China would hold over the United States? Um, so there are some very clear, you know, pluses and minuses. Obviously, these purchases would be welcomed uh, in the Midwest and agricultural communities, energy producers, um, and you know, President Trump is obviously very focused on them to reduce the trade deficit. Um, 
and you know to have this kind of eye-catching dollar figure that um, you know makes his his uh, trade deal seem like a win, but there is a very basic contradiction with some of the other very important structural reforms that the United States is pushing China to undertake. Your growth fund. Underneath a brown act, the board is prohibited from acting on a matter that you bring to its attention during the general public comment period. The issue raised by a member of the public may become the subject of a future board meeting. issue with a negotiation, but one that is fraught politically because you have China on the one hand and certain elements of the U.S. business community who are looking for more or less immediate role. But the Church of uh, Jesus Christ on um, uh, later, 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 many in Congress are saying, let's maintain these tariffs until we see firm implementation by China of these uh, commitments. Uh, I don't want to be. I don't. I don't want to be somebody brand new and walking in and trying to get to know them. What the fuck? They're fucking ugly. Uh, thank you. Um, so I think the way to think about this is think about it from the Chinese perspective. What does China get out of this deal? I mean, what? They get um, the U.S. You know, off their back. That's a big deal. But their their essential goal is to get the the tariffs roll back. That's what they get out of it. So China, whatever concessions they're going to make, uh, the U.S. isn't going to make anything in, you know, uh, that is comparable. So it is their goal. If you, for some reason, are part of it, um, there's a thing called the expungement with the Supreme Court the to get out the house. The first $50 billion dollars in tariffs were supposed to be the equivalent of Hey, maybe I heard that police and Jose. Who's are the Jose? Who's right? And then the rest is basically Trump being pissed off. You know, the Chinese. Here's the fraud victim one, and maybe you could apply for the Barclays, for Barclays Bank's credit card delivery. So there was no particular economic rationale for it. It was pure pressure, pure pressure tactics. So again, so if you think about it in terms of rolling it back. That fifty billion dollar, the tariffs on fifty billion dollars worth of goods, is in their view. Uh, I don't know why I don't get it. Then you think they don't use this language, but it's sort of a uh, infant industry deception. U.S. companies are competing with China. Uh, that's not fair, um, and it's costing the U.S. fifty billion dollars a year. So we're going to quote unquote protect U.S. industry. You know what, Sayask? You know what I am a victim of? Hey, you look just like me. That's me down there. That's it. Like, like, like. That's me down there. As we all know, calls himself Tariff Man, to roll that back. The other 200 billion should be less of an issue. I mean, there's a lot of ways they could do it. They could do, you know, X number of billion dollars per, you know, month. Um, here's one for for asking for tax refund. Make them essentially insignificant. The insignificant and next check said so you gotta take it up with the government. Uh, so like whatever dude. But again, given that, that is um, the main Chinese ask, uh, I don't think there's a more politically important issue. Is this called uh, The Book of Lies by Elister Carley? Uh, and the commentary you look for a you look for commentaries that make sense to you um, to reflect the daily the daily scenes of um, bro what way? We're all at a way grand hill street. Um, and essentially that there is now an agreement. Do you understand how concept, confusing those street names are? Um, Temple Street. Reciprocal unilateral enforcement. So each sum. Life should be a travesty on it. So you ask for a tax refund. Complying with the agreement. And if not, uh, they can take retaliatory. Uh, they can take retaliatory. I got a tax refund. I got the 12,000 deduction from federal and 4,000 deduction from California. How this mechanism is different. Um, I have seen it on my Xbox for now. Typical trade agreements with the WTO with third party dispute settlement. Party. And, and the likelihood that you see this mechanism uh, preventing a re emergence um, of, uh, of, of the tariff war. Um, well, thanks, uh, thanks to Ken and, uh, you know who is Rebelando? Today, this is our strategy. You make a triangle and you release whiteness. Well, I don't know what color is specifically. 